700 million. 700 million people worldwide suffer from allergies and asthma. Take a step into any Belgian classroom and you find an astonishing number of 20 to 30 percent of children carry this asthma puffer in their pocket. Realize one in four children having an allergy. That's reality. And also are also you, you all probably know someone suffering from allergy and asthma. At least I do. My father, my brother, my sister all have asthma. And during my studies in immunology, their disease, and more specifically, the lack of targeted medication for all asthmatic patients, sparked my interest. As current uh, medication tackles the symptoms, but very little is known about the underlying mechanism. And asthma rates have been on the rise since the 1950s, keeping track with modernity. And the majority of people are actually allergic to this creature, house dust mite. But the question has always been why? Why do more and more and more people get allergic? And there could be several things. And it could be uh, that we started living too clean, it could be city life with, it, with its exposure to smog and pollutants. But it might also be farm life in a rural environment that holds the key to more healthy lungs. And our research focused on the latter question. As current epidemiological research has shown that people living on the farm experience much fewer allergies compared to their city counterparts. And further, this benefit is dramatically amplified if a baby gets exposed to farm life frequently during its first thousand days of life. So, let me get you into the story on how we found that farmers could protect yourself from the development of allergies. And therefore, we went to these farms. We went to these farms and we put on electrostatic cloths, or Swiffer wipes, if you will we collected farm dust. And we isolated this farm dust and gave it to my two mice through the nostrils, before exposing them to this notorious trigger of, of, of asthma, the houses, the houses mice. And if you do not pre-expose these mice to the farm dust, they readily have an asthma, asthmatic attack. But the farm dust snorters did not. And this piece of evidence was already Super in, making us super enthusiastic, because it's the first time that we, could, that we could actually prevent mice from getting asthmatic. So, then we of course wanted to know how does this work. And therefore we had to, lead, to look deeper into the lungs of these mice. So when you breathe in air, dust particles swiftly encounter the first line of defense in your lung, the airway epithelial cells depicted here in orange. And when you hyperactivate these airway epithelial cells, you, can, you experience constriction, mucus production, difficulty breathing, so all the symptoms of asthma. And when we isolated these airway epithelial cells, when we exposed these cells to farm dust, we found that they start producing very high amounts of a protein with the name of a highway, A20. And this A20 molecule prevented the airway epithelial cells from activating the immune system. So farm dust induces A20 expression or A20 production in the airway epithelial cells, and this raises the bar, it raises the threshold, if you will. And the higher this threshold is, the less likely that allergens will cause allergy. And to test this, we engineered mice that specifically lacked this A20 molecule in their airway epithelial cells. And when we then expose these mice to farm dust, after having removed this A20, they were no longer protected, since this protective threshold we had first was no longer in place. But I see you all think, very nice, you can protect mice from getting allergies, but how does this help the asthmatic patients? And therefore, we went back to the farm. We went back to these farms and we looked at over 1,800 young children living in this protective environment, 
but still some of those children developed asthma. And genetic analyses of those children revealed that they had a mutation in their A20 gene. So their threshold, too, was no longer there, and they developed asthma. So I've tried to show you now that farmers can protect you against the development of asthma by induction of A20 in these airway epithelial cells. But of course, we cannot all start living at, as 17th century farmers, and nor should we. And it's also not a very great idea to start inhaling a bag of farm dust. But it makes you think. It makes you think about the pos positive effects of exposure of yourself and your children to a little bit more of dust and dirt, and about the negative effects of our obsession with super clean, super hygienic society. So might it be time that we return to our roots and step into the soil? So when you're home tonight, think and realize that exposing of yourself or your children to a little bit more of dust and dirt might, might well protect all of us a little bit better against the development of allergies and asthma. Thank you. <laughs>